Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus. And I just wanted to take time to thank our Calvary family for all your prayers and support. Thank you for loving on us and the bows through the most difficult time in our lives. You know, it was amazing to see um, how our communities, both in Havasu and Parker, rallied behind us. And we're grateful for the businesses that have fundraisers. And we heard how our Calvary family flooded those places in support of us. We're thankful for all the text messages, all the cards, and we've read them all, the meals and support, but especially for your prayers. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. Thank you, Calvary, for loving on us so, so well. And I'm reminded of Jesus' words in the Gospel of John, chapter 13, starting at verse 34. It says this. It says, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Just as I loved you, you are also to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. And that is exactly what you have done. Your love for us has been a testimony to all people that you are followers of Jesus Christ. And because of that, it has opened up the doors for gospel conversations. Now, my hope and prayer is that you will have just that. Have gospel conversations, especially with your families, parents. Have those gospel conversations with your children if you haven't already. Grandparents, do the same with your grandchildren. Although I am a father who is grieving, I'm grieving with hope because my son had a relationship with Jesus. We led our children to the Lord, and I know that I will see him again in heaven. Our mission here at Calvary is to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus, starting with our families, our friends, and our communities. Calvary, on behalf of our family, we love you and we thank you. Have a blessed day.